40 grand. Nearly 40 grand and it's a second hand caravan. You could have a massive, you could get a sort of 40 odd inch TV on that wall. I don't, we've never had a caravan as expensive as this. Uh, and we're going to have a look through and let's have a see why is it 40 grand or nearly 40 grand. The brand, brand spanking note that over £42,000. This has got motor movers that was extra. Um, there's a few other things as well. So you'd be knocking on for about £45,000 if you were to sort of try and replace this new now. So how is it different from a standard normal caravan? We're going to have a look around. We're going to have a look at all the little features that it has got. Um, a few little nifty designs. I'm just putting all this back together. I don't know why this is all out. It doesn't look like a 40 grand caravan at the minute, does it? Let's put that back in. Um, the upholstery and everything in this is really, really nice, to be fair. Um, the, the finish and everything is very, very good. It's got this sort of leather feel to it and just a really nice modern feel and a modern colour, to be fair. Plenty of storage all the way through. Um, but let's have a look at what all the features that this has got. And I've had to make a list. I've had to make, make a massive list because it's massive. Um, well, it's fairly big more than two things so I have to write it down so we've obviously it's it's swift it's a Bessicar Cameo 835 it's 2020 now these are on the smart construction so you don't have to worry about damp when we do a damp check on these it's visually uh, going round and checking everywhere so there's no wood in these at all and that's the same in the elegance ranges uh, and all the top swift ranges are exactly the same it's basically no wood anywhere it's all a composite material even the floor so it, it makes life a lot easier and it sort of takes away that that worry that you're going to have of I've just spent 40 grand and next week it's going to leak uh, well this isn't going to um, we've got nifty little things like little extractor fan um, not just built into the roof but actually over the kitchen area it tells us the time we can put the lights on We've got the normal swift bits and pieces with all of our dimmable lights. And this has, yes, 2022, you won't see it very often, but it has got the proper swift command system. We've got the Aldi central heating, um, which is, it, it's all pretty common. Obviously, yeah, you've got a nice little bit of an extractor there, but that doesn't really warrant a huge amount more than, than normal. You've got the nice big fridge freezer. So what is it that sort of makes this worth more than a, a standard caravan and make it worth nearly 40 grand? Well, one of the big things is, it, I don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera, it is absolutely huge, really, really wide inside the front seating area. You can have people all sitting around there and you don't feel cramped because it is on that eight, well, eight foot wide chassis. So it, it really does make a difference. And if you're gonna sight the van, um, and. <laughs> You can tow this round, obviously the towing law is changing. Um, so if you're looking at changing um, for a bigger van because of the towing laws, <laughs> this this is absolutely ideal. I think for me personally, I think I'd want to cite it uh, and it's just like a luxury, luxury van. Does it weigh? Um, so as it stands here now, it's 1,795 kilograms. It's got a maximum payload of 1,955, so just under. 2000 kilos um the actual payload not a maximum payload uh it's just the maximum gross vehicle weight is 1955 and the payload is 160 kilograms so that's what you can actually put inside of the caravan um, so quite a lot of bits and bobs that you can put in here i'm just going to pop over to the uh the swift command control unit that we've got here um and the reason that i'll bring that up is Obviously, as I was just saying, that on a lot of the new um, Swifts now, they're not going to have this. The top, le the top, top of the range vans like this are going to have it. But what this basically means is, if I can find the app on my phone, is that you can download the app and basically control everything from your phone. So hopefully, you might just get this. It might help if I actually connect it, wouldn't it? Um, so we can put the water pump on and off from our phone. We can put the awning lights on. Um, we can 
put the heating on from our phone. We can actually look at the Alco, so the ATC, we can look at the history on that, um, so we can see whether it's working, what it's done throughout the journeys. We can put the fridge on and off. So it's, and again, the, 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 this isn't really explaining why it's nearly 40 grand. This is a lot of the Swifts from previous years will have this and you can do exactly the same on this. Obviously it's got a tracker built in as well. One really good little thing on here, it's got Wi-Fi built into the caravan as well. So just in here, we've got our little Wi-Fi box. So you can connect your phones up, tablets up, etc. when you're away. Obviously it's got solar panel up on the roof. If we just have a quick look on the outside, As I say, somebody has fitted the, the four-wheel drive movers onto this, so that's an extra. But you've got external 230 volt socket, external barbecue points, external locker under the seats, and underneath here, you get both of the Alco wheel locks. But we've also, in there, we've got the front towing cover. Now, these come as standard with the towing cover. Um, so when you buy one of these, that's what it comes with. Um, so the front towing cover's all in there. We've got a nifty little light at the front here for lighting up in the gas locker box. And this is fitted with the Truma Duo uh, changeover system for the gas. So you can have two gas bottles on there, flick of a switch, and it switches them over. If you go to a nudist camp, you can put your external shower in there and wash everything off till your heart's content. I don't know whether I'd want to be doing that in this sort of weather, to be honest with you, but it might get a bit nippy. Um, two water pumps, so we've got the onboard water tank and you can use it with the Acrol as normal. Normal leisure battery and 230 volt plug-in and then we've got our cassette toilet and extra storage under the back. But you might notice just up there we've got another awning light. So when you're coming round to this side um, of an evening to do anything, empty the toilet, check on the battery, check your water connections, you've got a little light there so that makes life really really easy and uh, a bit better see what that is little reversing camera so you have a little screen that you put into the car you connect up with the reversing camera put that in your car you can see exactly what's behind you as i say lots of lighting throughout we've got the extract fanning the cool little lights just in the the little front handles up the front there and again the top lights are all dimmable and you can do that from the app also one really cool thing and i think this is you don't see it on many many vans um just underneath of here this is fitted with the aldi central heating system but part of the aldi central heating system is the aldi constant hot water system and um, so basically this little boiler here which I think is the Aldi Flow unit, works with the, the hot water system. So it basically gives you as much, however hot, however much water that you've got on the caravan, either on the onboard water tank or on your external water supply, this will supply constant hot water. Um, and basically what you have to do, I'll show you very, very briefly how, how it works. That'll be good on a um, super pitch. Exactly, yeah. Water. Perfect. Now, what you end up doing is when you go in and you put your hot water on, if you're going to use the shower, and it, it does only supply the, the shower, obviously you don't want constant hot water. Um, you're not going to sit there and wash your hair under the, the kitchen tap or the bathroom tap. So it's only for the actual shower. But when you run the boost feature, on the Aldi central heating. So that's your normal heating, and then you've got the, the boost. And you do have to run the gas and electric together. So you have got to put your gas and electric on both at the same time. That will then run the Aldi flow for the constant hot water. And what that will basically do is supply constant hot water. And you'll see just underneath of here in the wardrobe at the side there, can you see that little mixer valve? So that little mixer valve is going to mix the hot water from the boiler and put it to about 
between 38 and 40 degrees so you'll have constant hot water if you're plugged into a super pitch it's it's just going to be an endless supply of hot water but as i say you do have to run the gas and electric together to get the best um out of that system but it is pretty much going to give you if you want to spend half an hour in the shower of a morning go for it no problem whatsoever on this if you're plugged into the mains connector kit obviously does your heating work at the same time even uh, no you so when you've got that hot water system on, the heating goes on yeah because when you run on this aldi central heating when you run the the boost it turns the actual heating system off um, so you're probably not going to well i suppose you could spend half an hour because with the aldi central heating the caravan will retain the heating obviously these have got the extra insulation built into these um so it will retain the heat inside the caravan really well to be fair but as soon as you run that hot water on the boost setting it is going to turn the heating off so just something to bear in mind while we're actually i'll leave that on for a second i'm just going to show you i still can't get over the amount of room it, it is huge absolutely massive and again we've also got the extractor fan in the bathroom here one thing that I don't know, I don't know whether it's a bit of a letdown, but this is plastic. Um, in the older ones, these used to be a, um, not plastic basically, more of a composite material that was a little bit better. Um, Looks like an aeroplane sink. Um, yeah, so that is the only one thing that does just let it down a bit. Huge amounts of storage to be fair, I'm trying to pick back up on the positives. Um, massive, but yeah massive massive and you get these cool little roman blinds and i think we've got those in the bathroom in the bedroom as well and then coming through to the back and um, look at that wall have a look at that wall and you've got speakers in the bedroom you've got usb charging sockets in the best bedroom you've got a normal 230 volt socket over there and then obviously this is normally where you put your tv at the end of the bed um so if i think if you've got this sighted you could have a mass you could get a sort of 40 odd inch tv on that wall and to be fair that would look awesome that would look really really good um lying in bed watching the tv watching the football etc fantastic you might notice this roof light in the bedroom and uh, let me just try and position myself here now with the flick of a switch if i go the right way up it goes so in the bedroom all you've got to do is press a switch and up it comes no problem whatsoever and then just lock it back into place so we don't get that at the front it is only in the bedroom area um they used to have this little remote control uh, on these which was a real pain in the butt um so they've just swapped it to a switch dead easy so that is a really really good feature huge amounts of storage underneath and again the carpets on this van are like a luxury um feel i say luxury can you remember that little bailey discovery uh, the d44 that we had and they had a very similar carpet and again the carpets believe it or not can make a cheaper caravan feel really really luxurious and that's what it did in the in the little bailey discovery d4 but they are a nice really really luxurious carpet and again loads of storage space underneath there as i say the bed doesn't need to slide in and out because we're the eight foot wide um, the bed is just fixed it's not a slidable one so you're not going to start messing about putting extra cushions in um, and again there's plenty of room to get around the end of the bed we've got the aldi central heating then that runs all the way around the caravan so it heats up everywhere now one little trick that i'm going to show you you'll see here and it's quite a crude little switch to be fair they could, have, they, they could have done something better with this um, well this little switch here and this little thermostat here we can actually have two zones on the heating system so you can have the bedroom set at one temperature and the front room set at another so if i just make sure that's in the on position and let me show you come and have a look at this that's just a that's just a thermostat basically a little sensor now when i come onto our heating panel again now and i go on to our settings You'll notice here that we've got one and two on the thermostats. 
Now we can go auto, which does both, or we can go panel, so this will work in the front section of the caravan, or we can choose bedroom. So what you can now basically do is set the temperature in the bedroom at one temperature, and the temperature in the front and the washroom area at another temperature. Oh, that's clever. It's quite a good little feature. Um, again, it's just silly little things that sort of, when you add everything all up, you go, actually, it's just got those little features that do make a big difference. Um, obviously, we've got the nice big fridge freezer. Massive, massive. Again, perfect. If you're going uh, on the continent, or if you're going to site, you want a big fridge freezer like that. Plenty of storage all the way through, so nice lots of storage up there. Something else which you get when you buy the, the Bessie car. See if I can open them up there. Drum roll, please. Still in all the wrapping. Let's have a look at these. Posh glasses. So yeah, proper, proper glass, which is why they are it's a shame there's not a nice wine cabinet to put them in though, isn't uh, it? The glass fronted cabinet. I'll have a look in a second and see. But yeah, you get the little Bessicar glasses and they are both still here um, and wrapped up nicely. So just, just, it still doesn't warrant 40 grand an hour, but you get a couple of posh glasses with Bessicar on just to make the, uh, make it feel a little bit better. Uh, obviously, as I get, as I say, you, you've got your normal bits and pieces on here. So you've got the. Oh, I hope I didn't just break that then. You've got your normal electric ring on the on the hob. Uh, your three gas rings. Your extra extractor fan. Your microwave. Let me just have a look if there's anything that I've missed on here. Um, let's just have a look in this bathroom again. There was the little mirror. Did I show you the little mirror? No. So we've got a special little mirror in the bathroom. Um, so Look at that. when I want to put my makeup on, I can get in nice and close and uh, scare myself. And it's uh, it's just all little bits and bobs. As I say, that, that sink is still... Uh, it's a bit of a letdown, to be fair. Um, nice storage again up the, up the top here. Um, we've got a little shaver socket just tucked up here, um, so you can plug your shaver, proper proper shaver socket there to, uh, to charge your shaver. I think I've already mentioned about the extract fan in the bathroom, which I think that is a really, really good idea to be fair. If you're going to use the caravan on site and you're using that shower, especially with constant hot water, cracking, cracking idea. Um, that pretty much, obviously it's got the solar panel on, front tow cover, the duo changeover. Now the brand new ones of these have got the EMP self-leveling system and this hasn't got that. You have, to, you have to either get a drill or wind the legs down manually. So that is one thing when you're looking at a 2022 model, they have got and this hasn't. But this is up at 36,994 or 30, 35,995, 36 grand. So a real real good saving on the new ones now to be fair and again it's like brand new it is like brand new um really really clean tidy been well looked after and uh, that pretty much brings us to the end of our forty thousand pound caravan uh, if there's any questions let us know uh, if you've not already subscribed to our channel and uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up thanks i'm mark at the caravan place